everybody, my name is Wayward Dreams and welcome back to my weird art. So today I have the first part in a very special three part series that I'm doing and it's called Red and Blue and today we're going to do red. Now just a quick thing about uh, this particular portrait is that the end result of this particular recording I was still not happy with Clayton's face. So if you want to see how I got from the end of this recording to the final image that I will be showing you at the end of this, then be sure to look out for the video where I actually combine the images of red from Scandroid and blue Stolly. Okay, so that's out of the way. Gosh, what can I say about Clayton? I will say that my first attempt that I had ever done of a portrait of Red was the anniversary of Salvation Code, and that was back in, I believe, September. And I didn't have much notice when I found out that it was, and I did that image in like two hours with Screaming Kids. I frankly cringe when I look at it. So I told myself that I owed him a good portrait this time because, well, I've liked Cell Dweller for quite some time. I, I don't know how much I've actually mentioned about our past, but my husband and I actually were DJs for a long time to a mainly goth industrial night. So anyway, we were acquainted with the old Cell Dweller, as it were. But there was something a little bit different when I discovered Scandroid. I think it's because it made me fall in love all over again with Retrowave. And from there, I started to discover quite a lot of other things. Like, uh, I didn't know about the fixed label. I didn't know about Sunset Neon or Blue Stolly. And uh, it kind of opened up a gigantic new world once I ran across Salvation Code itself. I will say that for the most part, I find the messages that are in all of Clayton's tracks really resonate with me because I can feel that there's somewhat of a faith in them and it's kind of funny in that you know you listen to it one way on the surface and it sounds like one thing and I think that like as you get deeper into the message and as you start to unpack all of the layers of the songs which is really my favorite part you begin to find out just how bright they are underneath and just how hopeful they are and soulful they are. And because of that and because of my very cyberpunk leanings, I find Clayton to be one of the biggest inspirations in my modern artistic life. So without further ado, here's to you Clayton and I hope you enjoy this and I hope that it gives you a little bit of cheer for the holidays if you're watching. If you're one of my followers and you're watching, then I hope you uh, I hope you learn a little something, especially in this particular case, what not to do. We'll be going over how to fix things later. So enjoy this and we'll see you next time.
Yeah.